Hi guys, this is Agota from Rose Gold and I would like to show you some different ways how to decorate your own roll-on bottles. Are you ready? Let's do this! Today I'm going to show you the supplies I'm using for my projects. Okay, so these are the hooks I normally use for decorating and drying the bottles. As you can see, they are sturdy, fit in the bottle neck snugly and hold the bottle firmly. My father came up with this design and I love them. The hooks not only allow me to hold the bottles in position while I paint them, they also double as hangers for drying. But if you don't have any hooks, don't worry. There are a few options. You can buy them in my Etsy shop. I sell them on packs of 10. Or if someone at home is handy, they can copy my dad's design. Look at this. The third option is to watch this video. I found my father's design hard to copy so I came up with a simple method with a paper clip. You also need a sponge and a roller bottle head. You only need a head without a ball. So first we are going to straighten the paper clip. Then fold in half. So like this. Okay. So it looks like this then uh, you just get the roller head and find the little hole on the bottom and poke the ball out so next push the paper clip through this hole like this now we need to attach the sponge you can either use foam like this or a regular sponge. I have found simple kitchen sponge to work best actually. To prepare the sponge I just cut off a small piece and, and remove this hard part. Once that is done push the paper clip through the sponge Okay, then cut the sponge into shape. And push it in the holder. If it feels loose, you can glue the sponge in the holder. Let's do that. Okay, now it's ready, so you just put the holder on the bottle and you are done. It's not as sturdy as my father's one, but it meets the purpose. You can hang it on. Now I'm gonna put this on my dryer rack. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Like this. Let's hang this on 
the dryer rack. I'm gonna remove these guys. As you can see, nothing fancy. My father made it out of wood and some nails, so actually you can make a similar one at home if you need one. If you don't want to spend time making a frame, you just grab a wooden board, put some nails in it and put it onto boxes. So you have enough space for hanging the bottles. This is my camera stand right now. So for mandala dotting I have tools, <clears throat> this set was just a few bucks on Amazon but you can also improvise with some common household objects. For example, you can use push pins, toothpicks, paper clips, an old pen, round head pin or even a brush handle. But I like these ones, it's handy to have it in a set. Of course there's no set of definite rules on which brushes you can or you should use. Most of these brushes can be used in many different ways and for different techniques. The angled uh, acrylic paint brush is one of my go-to paint brushes. I use this brush almost more than any other brush. And this one is the other one, the liner brushes are the best used for fine details in your artwork. So these are my brushes. Use sponges if you want to blend colors. There are many kinds of sponges you can use for painting. I'm using these two. One is a sponge paint brush. The other is um, a makeup sponge. It has tiny pores so it gives a smooth and even look. I really like to use powders, especially neon powders, so I use this eyeshadow applicator to add the fine powder to the gel. And after I cure the power gel, I brush off the excess with this brush. It has dense but soft bristles. I really like this one. Because the bottle surface is round, I use nail air stamping technique for that. You need stamping tool which has a silicone pad, some stamping nails polish, and a scraper. And also you need nail plates for your designs. This one has Christmas designs. Sealing is an important step, it provides a hard, durable, smooth, transparent finish. Sealing will protect your artwork from everyday handling. I'm gonna show you two different ways to seal your artwork. There are more techniques but I use these two. So you need an LED lamp, you can buy this one on Amazon for about 15 bucks. It's handy and a cheap investment. I use cool top gel from Crystal Nails, but you can use any other brand for your project. I like this one because it doesn't alter the colors. So that's all you need for sealing your artwork with gel polish. The other sealing technique is with epoxy resins, which comes in two parts, the resin and the hardener. You also need a 3M respirator, don't forget to put the filters in like this. I keep the filters in a sealed bag to extend their lifetime. You also need nitrile gloves. Don't use latex because latex gloves can allow to transport of harmful amines through the gloves. Okay, so that's for epoxy. And I also have this machine. My father made it, lucky me. It's like a cup turner, just for bottles. But probably you can adjust the cup turner to bottle. 
So a cup toner is about 30 bucks on Amazon. You need this if you use epoxy. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Etsy shop. You can find the hooks there. If you create one of these, please send us a picture. We love seeing your creativity. If you use Instagram, please use the hashtag RoseGoyleDIY and it will show up on our page. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting!